Greetings, good ones. Hi everyone, Rusty Dog here. Welcome to Elite Dangerous, and uh, I'm just waiting for my. There we go. Just waiting for my stream to initialize. Took its time, but it got there in the end. Must be the clock change. Yeah, I just realised the clocks went forward while I was asleep. They always do it when I'm sleeping. Hmm. But yeah, so we're an hour more forwards than I thought we were. Anyway, there we go. <coughs> I only realised when my oven, uh, the clock on my oven was an hour less than what my phone was telling me. But nevertheless, whatever time it may be in your region, welcome. And uh, I'm hoping to have a little bit of success here with the... Uh, Tyrannis Cloud. So, who's with us today? Mr. Budman. <laughs> Get too northern there. Hey, Mr. Budman. 07. Gain damage. 07. That's 014 for the two of you. Welcome, guys. Nice to see you. Mick Platt. Hi, Mick. In the pro process of getting your Guardian drive. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, Guardian work needed for that then. Good stuff. Commander KSY is with us. Hi, Commander KSY. Andy K. Good afternoon, Andy. Yeah, we just finished the stream and started another one. What am I doing? Um, <laughs> not exercising is what I'm doing. Hey, uh, Commander Steve Zodiac. Hi, Steve. Good afternoon and hi to the little avatar. Digital Aspects also here. Hi, Digital. So, yeah, I don't know any of you guys in the US what your time is right now, whether it's more convenient, less convenient for me to be streaming right now, but I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> Blog toward Lazy long weekend. Yeah, Easter weekend. Hey, Easter Sunday today, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll have some scrambled eggs. Right. Um... Okay, so we jumped in the Diamondback because jump range. I might need some help on this, guys, because I haven't done this before. Yes, Happy Easter. Oh, my God, yeah. I don't really do the religious side of it, but I don't mind the chalky eggs. That's all good. Uh, okay, so it's down here. So we need to venture to here. That's the first thing. We need to go pick up the crate. So let's go and do that. It's only three jumps. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't do I don't do alcohol, so it'll just have to be chalky. I don't have any chocolate eggs either. Oh, also, at some point, I'm going to have to go downstairs and check on something. There's, I've got, I've got one of the, the two cats are hanging around. One of them's sit, lying on my sofa right now, so I've got my back door open. So I'm going to want to uh, check on that cat, and make sure, like, if it's still there, it can stay there. If it's gone, I need to close the back door. <coughs> Don't tell me what to do, I'm a professional. Um, yeah, so, got that to do. So I don't know how long this is going to take, the uh, Tyrannis thing. But once I've done my bit on it, if there's time we'll jump over into Oliver Hardy and do a bit of... a bit more plantage exploration. Hey John, how you doing? Happy Easter. If you like yeast, <laughs> yeah, Easter time on the eggs and the bunnies. How did how did eggs and bunnies get associated with Easter? Nice. 
Yeah, just had a nice, uh, well, slightly bumpy but nice uh, Boeing landing on the last spo uh, stream, spoiler alert. And so let's hope we that follows into the game here and we get some nice <laughs> landings here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Does the Tyrannus still show up with a red icon in the in the galaxy map? I wonder. I hope so. Hey Frank! 07 Salutes or yeah, salut as they would say in Spanish, which is what they would say like to your health when you're about to, you know, where we would say cheers with a drink, they'd go salut. Con salut. Right, we definitely need to scoopy. Well, we don't, but we will. We don't need to need to. We only got one more jump to go. But we'll gather a bit. So for you guys who have done the Titan cloud thing and maybe even got a drive, uh, a drivey thingy, um, what's it called? Titan drive component. Um, I'm going to be asking questions about this, so I, I'm going to need you guys on hand to give me some advice when I ask. First thing uh, is is having two sets of caustic heat sinks enough? Is it enough? Because that's what I've got. I've got. I've got two heat sinks on my crate, two caustic ones, so I'm just wondering whether that's enough. I also don't know if it's if it's as don't I mean this bit I don't want to know, but I, I I'm curious as to if it's if it's as caustic or a little bit less caustic than it was when the Titan was uh in one piece. So I'll have to see what that's like. Cosmogonic reflection core, Jesus. Cosmogonic, maybe. Uh, right, I don't know where the hell this is, so let's just go to it. Okay. Yeah, I guess I needed to do this sooner rather than later. Or later rather than sooner, to, to be honest. Yeah. I'm, I don't know whether the cloud is... Because I don't know whether the cloud is dissipating, you know, day by day. Whether it's maybe in two days' time, it'll be less toxic than it is today. And in four days' time, it'll be less toxic than it is in two days' time. I don't know if it works that way or if it's just a... If Frontier have made it dissipate as time goes on or not. Or whether it's just... No, this is this is the blown up Tyrannus to, uh, toxicity level, shall we say. Caustic level. And that's it. It's going to stay that way. <clears throat> and how long is the cloud going to hang around for? Is it always going to be there? Like a supernova, when you see the remnants of supernovas millions of years later, we call them nebula, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, it's only one system it's covering, isn't it? So, and even then, it's only around like a, a planet, so it's not a massive area of space. So they could leave it. They could leave it like that. Traffic, traffic. <laughs> just see these these ships going by, and I've, I've just stepped off the the Boeing seven thirty seven. So I, I see them whiz by me like this, and I'm just thinking, <laughs> get my TCAS on, and yeah, have them just saying traffic, traffic, 
Too low terrain. Too low terrain. <laughs> Wonder whose voice they used for that. Yeah, and also on the uh, when we landed in um, in Madrid in the Boeing, there was either Tussock or Futexa on the ground. So that was weird. And a, and a half. Four three. Heading directly to Bay Crate. Mark two pickup with Diamondback Exploder. What am I talking about? I don't know. This stream has been rated R for rambling. They should give you speeding tickets if you get like more than one warning or something. <clears throat> okay, let's go to Starport Services. Shipyard and this one, the Ethereal Empress. <clears throat> yep, that's true. If you move, you get. A, if you move too fast, you get a ticket. If you stand still, we kill you. Right. So I have caustic sink launchers, two of. TG pulse neutralizer. I'm probably not going to need that. Uh, or am I? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. No. I don't know. Let's see. And what else do we have? Mm. Thargoidy wise. Limpet controllers. Research, decontamination and repair limpets. Pulse wave xeno scanner. Xeno scan, pulse wave I don't know what the hell all this crap is. I have forgotten. There's... <coughs> I tend to put them in order though. What's number two on A? Pulse neutralizer, okay. <clears throat> then we've got the pulse wave xeno scan. Then the research limpets. Repair limpets. Decontamination limpet is on D. That's going to be handy to know. We'll have to put some limpets on the ship then, I guess. Oh! Oh, my sister. I'll just get this and tell her I'm not free. Right, sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, I'll try and remember everything. So what do I need? I know I need the caustic sink launchers. What else do I need, guys? Mm. Decontamination limpets would be handy in case I run out of uh, caustic sink launchers. The Xenoscan and the P-Wave Xenoscan, I can't even remember what they do. Pulse Wave Xenoscan on the... Is it just a case of venturing in and looking for these drive components? Let's see, what do we have in terms of cargo? 16. Okay, so I'm gonna get... I'm gonna grab 10 limpets. I don't wanna... I don't, what did I do that for? I don't wanna do all of them because that would be weird and I need to pick up a thug, uh, a drive component, don't I? So 
So any any advice right now would be helpful. Now then, Daran is. Uh, Where is Taranis? Is is it still marked with one of these icons? I'll Google it, don't worry. Hades sector. It is this one. Okay, four jumps because we've got a bit of cargo on board. Yes. Yeah, it's this one. FBN B76, correct. Vamanos. See how many uh, interdictions and stuff, high predictions. My prediction for high prediction and interdiction is. I don't know what it's going to be. We'll see. I forgot I didn't have any shields, otherwise I wouldn't have done that. Nice one, Rusty. Take a chance that I don't need that ten percent, uh, six percent. Okay, I'm going to be happy with that, I think. Do I have a scoop? I don't think so. <laughs> Anyone out there? Because either that or the chat's just froze. I don't know. Maybe I got everybody up too early. DW oh seven. You know, I recorded a uh, video last night of me playing another sniper contracts mission, <coughs> uh, but I had a couple of issues where I had an issue where I I killed. You know, you have these bounty people, but I I killed the. There was two of them. I killed two of the bounty guys, and then I ended up getting killed for some silly reason. And um, when it loaded up the checkpoint back to the previous saved one, I, I was and I ended up right back at the beginning. I had to do the whole thing again, which left me confused as to why it hadn't saved the checkpoint at the point where I'd killed the the the. The object, the objective peep, the, the the bounties, 
when I killed those, that should have been a checkpoint save. And then I was just rambling on about, you know, why do games have these auto-saving checkpoints and take the control out of your, your hands instead of just allowing you to save when the hell you like. Just press F5 or whatever and just save game whenever. Because the game has total control of when it's saving, uh, which is fine if the game's handling it correctly. But if you go through a whole mission and kill a lot of people, and then it says, you know, you, you have completed your objective of killing this bounty guy, <clears throat> and then you kill another one, and it says you completed your objective of killing that bounty guy, move on to the next area, you would think a checkpoint would be saved at that point, and it wasn't. So I paused the recording, and I said, I'll just go through this all again. I'm not going to do it on while I'm recording. I'll just go through it again. And I did go through it again, off off camera, so to speak. And then uh, I, I got through it. But then I just thought, you know what? I can't be bothered with this video. So that video is getting scrapped. So yeah, I did the whole I did the whole region, two and a half hours, and it's not going to see the light of day, unfortunately. No big loss. I know nothing. I am from Barcelona. Kind of spacing out, okay. Well, if before I get into the Tyrannus people can tell me the things I'm going to need to use, obviously apart from the Caustic Sink launcher, which is obvious, anything else I'm going to need, or is it just a case of floating around the cloud while your caustic builds up, searching for a, a drive, and does it appear on the contacts panel? How far do you have to go in? Let's see. You don't need a caustic launcher? <clears throat> well, that must have changed then, because I... It, uh, Frontier did list the things you needed, but I think they did it on their Facebook page or something. Don't forget to take your caustic sink launchers and this and this. We'll see. Caustic panel when you're near enough. Right, so in that case, night vision is going to be needed. What's been good up to now touch wood or whatever they say, is that we have not yet been hyper or interdicted. <clears throat> it, to communicate with another ship during an interdiction, would you need an interdictor phone? Asking for a friend. <clears throat> yeah, so I've, I've got like 16 caustic sinks plus I have the anti-caustic limpets as well I've got 10 of those yeah normally you'd see a big massive cloud here by now eh? this is gonna be interesting then At what point are we jumping out here now? Wow, 153 kilometers. Oh, geez, flipping hell. I was not expecting this. What the hell? I thought there was going to be still a big cloud around. Man, the, the expl considering there's no gravity out here, the exploded bits didn't go very far. I wonder if any have fallen down onto the surface. <laughs> I thought this was going to still be a big pea cloud. By that, I don't mean a cloud of pea. No. I was expecting cloudiness. Interesting. 
interesting then. Ooh. Do we need a do we need one of those anti caustic cargo hold things? Uh, oh well I've got six of these, so the answer is no. Let me go and pick that up. Tissue sample, thyroid authorist. Oh, I might as well just pick all this crap up. You never know, it might come in useful for something. Let's go uh, gift hunting. We'll go through the thyroid bins, as it were. Okay. ships in the area. Pirates and vagabonds. Right, so collecting in the crate. Caustic shard. Got 19 of those. I wonder if they, I wonder if they ever will come in handy. The other ones are high awake, but there was something else over here. <clears throat> I guess we can go and grab this, why not? Yeah, it's not cargo exactly, you're right, yeah. Not gonna be an issue. I was too busy looking at my speed, trying to calculate when to decelerate, and then... For some reason, I was looking at my heat signature instead. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because on the Boeing, the speed's on the left. <laughs> and I'm still, uh, I don't know, whatever it was. All right, let's head back over to... Uh, the greeny glowy bits. Ooh. Titan tissues for men. So somewhere, what we're saying is then that somewhere in amongst, ah, that's not what I wanted. Jesus, I was going to say somewhere in amongst all of, I wanted to press one, not tab. Yeah, somewhere in amongst all of this stuff is a is a drive. I'm guessing it's going to be quite far in. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, meta alloys. They can be sold at a decent price, but I want I am not going to chase those down. Really? see what it is. This ship's not decelerating quickly. It takes a while. Okay. Not a problem. I'll get you said. Ah, there is a cloud. There you go. Good, good. There should be. I really don't know cloud. Thargoid sensor, AX pilot Johnson. It looks nice like this, but <clears throat> I prefer night vision for knowing what, where the hell I'm going. Glaive tissue samples. Are partials any good? We haven't got any. I might as well pick them all up because I've got a feeling that Brunchy will make use of them or not. But this should count as a new ma new material pickup. 
We are obviously approaching slower because the cargo scoop is down. Flaps 30. Oh, that it, oh, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, these are cargo. I mean, we don't want cargo. Thought these were materials. Still, they're gonna sell. Yeah, what the hell. Is there more than one... Will I come across more than one Thargoid drive component? Do I need more than one? I think we just... Oh, cool. I think... Is it... What, to repair my hull? Oh, man. You... That's so nice of you. Thank you. I'm getting my hull repaired. Incoming repair, Limpet. That is freaking cool, man. I'm done. I'm repaired. Hey, thank you. I wish I could do a communication thing for them. There you go, flash my lights. <coughs> That's nice. Hey, Kutzen. Um, new FSD drives. Yeah, I don't know. This is the thing. Is it? It could be. I've got a feeling that I've got. I need to pick up as many of the uh, drive components as I can. So, I don't mind having these two. And if I need to ditch the limpets, I, I will. But it's these where I want materials, really. Caustic crystal. And that's only because she was angry. Oh, shite. Uh. Incoming goidy. Look how long it takes to slow down. Jeez. Jeez and onion. Oh. Did it hit? Thargoid bio storage capsule. Yeah, I heard that. Really whacked onto my ship. I am actually repaired though. Yeah, we're in fine fettle, as they would say. All right, <coughs> let's let's get in. I'm just going to follow the uh, reticle and see. It's only theoretical, as I would say. Gonna, for all the uselessness that it has, I'm going to put my lights on. Look at the lighting coming off on on the green on the on the side out the right right side window. Very cool. The lineage lives on. <laughs> yeah, good to know. Organic membrane. Look at that thing. Oh, what the hell? It that must be cargo then, right? Thargoid resin. Listen to the sound. You hear those sounds? It's very subtle, you barely hear it hear it, but it's there. I love that the the, the sound detail they put into this. <clears throat> sounds that you won't even they do all these work on some really cool sounds, but you won't even hear them unless you just you know completely pay attention. 
I've got a feeling that the the thing that we want is in the cloud. What if there isn't any here? Is that possible? Yeah, sound designers in Elite have always been top notch though. What? Dead goid? Dead dead goid. <laughs> yeah, look, there's a couple of them. That is scary. Even when they're just parked up like that? That's scary, man. They're dead. But I've just never seen one like that yeah I think we're gonna have to venture into the cloudy bit there's another goid over there oh god Yeah, if you've got some good headphones. I have a set of good headphones, but they're in, they're in the other room and they're, they're good. It's a Bose, um, what do you call them? Noise cancelling? Acoustic? No, it is. It's noise cancelling, isn't it? Yeah, those. I have a set of those. Um, they're amazing. Uh, they need a new battery. I need to put a new battery in, but yeah, they're very, very good. Got a few of them. So I think these clouds will hang around because if they are going to use these materials in blueprints, you're going to need a place to come and get them. And it would seem to me that having a uh, having a, a, a repository here like this would be a good idea. Propulsion elements. That grade five. Hello. Not so tough now, are you? Just just pay attention to the audio here. Can you hear that sound? Sound detected. What do I have in my cargo hold? Oh, Jesus. Give me your cargo. Give me one ton of cargo if you want to live. Sure, have a limpet. dropped it for you was I'm not quick enough for you I dropped you the partial one okay I seem to be intact just don't take my friggin limpets man oh check that flipping view out Just move my ship a little. Can you go up? A little? A little bit more? There we go. I'll do. <clears throat> oh! Did you see that? It pulsed. Yeah. With all this Titan stuff... Um, oh, look at that goid. 
we see it dead center screen. Um, with all the, the Titan stuff that they've done here, like from the whole thing of going into the cloud and finding it and all that stuff, the it has to be said, and I did say it at the time, the graphics and the sounds, the whole audiovisual experience thing was just crazy good. They did excel themselves there, I have to say. They did. Do I need repairing? <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> yeah, that's to do with me, I think. I think other people don't get it. Don't get the flickering. For some reason I'm getting it and I don't know why. Right, we're going to venture in here. See if we can find anything. I hope it's not going to take too long. Look at that. Look at this, man. The lighting, though, is so good. I wish at this point that any energy wakes were a different colour or the other materials. Oh man, look at those pulses. Do we head towards those? So, so it looks like the, the 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 pirate although I don't know what he thought he was gonna get from here Lord it's real I need to stay away from that thing I don't have the actually yeah no I don't have the resources oh that's its pulse thingy bobby jiggy thingery that it's pulsing Yeah, it looks like the pirate took my thing that I dropped. He didn't get anything out of my cargo. Thargoid scythe? This is going to give me some caustic, isn't it? In for a penny? Oh, okay. We're fine. Mark Shaw. Hey, Mark. Simondo. Hey, guys. Yeah, they did cast different colours, didn't they? It's true. You do get slight variations, but only slight. Yeah. You get like a a tinge of colour, maybe, but it's not like it used to be. Proportion elements is not the same thing, is it? It's literally going to be called a Titan drive component. Rare. Yeah, you ain't kidding. So we're looking for either Thargoid drive component or just drive component. Not going to be in here, is it? <laughs> I wonder how close you have to get be before it picks it before it picks it up on the uh, sensor. Has anyone found one yet? <laughs> Is 
There's a load of bits over, well, yeah, there's darker remnants over here, and there's a Thargoid. Oh, okay, he's off my scanner now. Oh, okay, so has it run out here? Okay, that's a shame. So there's a limited supply then, basically. I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case. But what the other one, the gong, whatever it's called, what state is that in right now? Isn't that still, isn't that cloud still going to be, uh, isn't that cloud still going to be highly caustic to go into? I don't know how long ago it was destroyed. But you need about a week, week, two weeks, don't you? So am I not gonna I'm not gonna find anything here then? only got one of those. Is it is it semi safe to go into the league on cloud? We we'll have to be quick because we've got goidy goidy brains above us. Hey, Big Bear, happy Easter. Is it propulsion elements? Is that what it is? So not that's not called a Thargoid drive component, which is how Frontier labelled it. See, propulsion elements were around before, I think. They were around before the Titan. So I don't know. It actually says, obtain a rare Titan drive component. Uh, I don't know. And it also says, sell it to us. Right? So sell it to us makes it sound like it's cargo. So it, it's, it's actually cargo I'm looking for, not material.
I don't know if I can get to the other Titan without running out of fuel though. So this looks like it's going to be a bust for today. I may have, a, may have to have a go at Lee going later in the week then. <coughs> because I, I don't know the current state of it. I don't know where it is. Uh, let's see if we can find it. It's probably going to be too far away. I can't make that. I don't have a fuel scoop. I'd have to go back to 20019 and take it from there. Man, front didn't uh, Frontier didn't give you long to to get the bits from here. Disappointing. Oh, lovely. Factor of one hundred. Thanks, Kutzen. Uh, I might not bother <clears throat> today, anyway. It sucks that you can't press enter and have it go there. Oh, is it five? Oh, of course it is. I've got extra stuff on board. Well, I tried. When did the other? Does it, I don't know when it got destroyed. <clears throat> I'll find out. Right, so there was a video posted a week ago. Uh, uh, bloody YouTube's not very accurate with this stuff. One week, doesn't say how many days though. Catastrophic failure of Thargoid Legon, one week ago. Okay, I'm gonna say it's around a week and a half. All right. <clears throat> Kasparas, hey Kasparas, how you doing? Hi Chris. After we start the PC, so catching up, okay? Round two drives. Oh, you have to wait for them to spawn, Jesus. All right. Well, let's see where this other one is in relation to HIP 20019. We may have to do some rejigging. Oh, 
Jesus, we're gonna get back on fumes. We're not gonna have a lot left in the fuel tank by the time we get there. Fuel rats on standby. Yes, happy egg, <laughs> Casperus. <laughs> happy eggs and bunnies. Well, I hope the jump from 55 Tauri to HIP to 0019 is going to be very small uh, because the amount of fuel in our tank is very small. <coughs> But according to the route map, we, we can make it, so I'm trusting on that. Because, yeah. This is going to be a big problem now. Aren't we going to have to jump again? And we don't get the fuel credit back, do we? We're screwed. That Thargoid is going to run me out of fuel. Holy crap. But it already consumed the fuel for the jump. Jesus frickin' Christ. Thankfully, this ship's really quick. Yeah, I'll work something out, don't worry. Where are we? Fuel star, yeah. You should be so lucky. Okay. You should be so lucky. If this is under attack, <clears throat> are these places still around, operational? If it's on alert, guys, is it still around? Does it still work? Active, yes, active. Ah, ah, okie dokie. Let's go again. That's no good. Okay, just checking. We don't make that. It's two jumps. Oh, okay. Where are you getting two jumps from? Oh, next jump. We can make it and refuel there. Okay. 
Yeah, it would work, wouldn't it? Wait a minute. I'll let you know, Commander Kess, why thank you. I think I should be okay. I just need to gather my thoughts here. Five jumps and we can get there. <laughs> oh, look at the fuel we have. This is gonna use up all my reserves. We'll be coughing and spluttering going into the station, though. Five jumps via economy. Look at how little fuel! Oh god! It's gonna eat into the reserve tank. For sure. We probably don't even have to do five. You could probably do like three or four and then just do the final jump, but... <laughs> oh. Scoopy, scoopy do. Where are you? I wish I had one on board. Yeah. Should have brought a scoopy. This will actually work quite nicely, because look, you can barely see any fuel being used on this jump. Four, it could have been that synthesizing a, a premium boost would have done it. Because that would have doubled our jump range, which would probably have got us there. <clears throat> the jump range on this ship is 19 and we only had to go 28 so yeah it would have it would have done it or we could probably have just dumped I don't know what well that we could have dumped the limpets to be honest that's 11 tons we could have dumped those limpets yeah we probably could have done it if we dumped the limpets <laughs> Never mind. So we'll get here. We'll see what the deal is with the other tur the other Titan location, and then we'll decide whether to go there, come back, or fuel scoop. Get a fuel scoop on board and try it that way. Thargoid controlled. Security level anarchy. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I've decided not to do that. I'm going to keep the limpets on board. Because I'm probably going to need them for my next trip. I could have just... Yeah, I could have dropped them. But I've, I've already made the decision to do these five jumps now. And the amount of fuel I have left is based on on doing this, so we could be at a stage now where even dropping the limpets won't be enough. But anyway, here we are. This is the jump. Oh, we could have done at least ten more jumps. <laughs> we could have done another four at this rate. I think we'll use up more fuel in supercruise going to sell you orbital. But yeah, we're good. We're good, good, good. So it's here. We do not have enough fuel to reach the station. Please try again. 
Your arrival is important to us. We would have made it back had it not been for that high prediction. Because it, it, if you do the jump and you get high predicted, and then after you run away, you do the jump again, it's using twice as much fuel because it's consumed the fuel twice for that one jump. You don't get any fuel credits. Not in this game. It shouldn't have consumed your fuel until you actually jump, but I was in the middle of it, high predicted. I suppose it makes sense, doesn't it, that the fuel would be taken off you when you're jumping. Of course it does. The fuel should perhaps go down during the jump and not just take the whole thing off you on the jump, but just gradually go down. And then when you get hyperdicted, you've maybe only used up half of that. I don't know. Still, it is what it is and we have to work our way around it, and we did. So it's all good. Gravity well, gravity not feeling so well. <laughs> that might be something to put on a on a on a, a card. If your elite dangerous buddy's not feeling too well, you could have a gravity well soon card. No, I don't know if that's going to work, but they may appreciate the sentiment. Gravity will soon, 07. I hope you're feeling elite today. Alright, we made it. you're wondering, Uniform Tango is an orange suit. That's what prisoners have to wear, isn't it? A Uniform Tango. Okay, so... Tango being an orange drink, just in case anyone didn't get the reference. So from here, how far away is Lee watch its face it was seven jumps from where we were and we weren't going to make that one okay it's a little bit less here oh <laughs> yep not going to happen Five. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. All right, we're good. We're good. There is. Ooh, hello. There's so many carriers here. There must be one that that can refuel us for the journey back. Prawns. Okay. Yep. If anything, that one. So we've got that. Okay. Do 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 do. We can refuel here. Plenty of opportunities here to refuel. Oh, buddy boy. Of course, if it's too caustic, then too bad. But it might not be because, I don't know, loads of people are there. Or maybe they're just waiting. And then the question becomes, 
Can we find one? How many can we find? And how quick will the caustic build up? How long will we have time to find one, in other words? How much time will we have before the caustic runs out? Barbara, Somebody who couldn't say Barbara. Barbara. Let's go check on the cat situation. I'm gonna pop down and see if the cat's still on the sofa. If it's not, then I'm closing my door. So, would you mind just holding a sec, guys? Still there. One's outside because they they fight each other. So I think one's happened to stay outside. One's outside. The other one's having a kip on a cushion on my couch. <sighs> right. <laughs> and it's getting cold in that room now. And all the doors are open, so it's going to make the house cold. And that's why I want to keep going down checking on them because as soon as soon as they go, I could shoo them out, but nah. We probably, wasn't it five jumps to the other uh, Titan as well? Because four or five, I can't remember. But yeah, I think we would make it back to base without refueling, providing we don't get hypered. Because if we do, then that's fuel loss that we can't afford. Right, into the arthritis sector. Aritis. I love how the compass jitters all over the place. <laughs> it goes nuts. <laughs> it's great. I love that they <laughs> it just looks so funny. Yeah, Rusty, it's been doing that for friggin' years and only now you're laughing on it. Hip 901... No. Yeah, Hip 9016 FM. Welcome to Hip 9016 Radio. Your latest goity news. Oh man, what's this one gonna be like? I reckon just more green, more more pea soup. It's like flying around in the exorcist's vomit. Which I think was pea soup, right? I think that's what they used in the exorcist. I think it was pea soup. Something along those lines anyway. I think I read something like that. <laughs> I didn't Google it, but <laughs> I, I just came across that information. Uh, 
Okay, well I can handle this. Or can I? I can't move down. Oh, it's a goid addiction. Sugar. No chance then. I'm submitting, I'm submitting. Could not line up with that thing at all. I, maybe you're not supposed to. Right, we've got some good speed on this, so... The one thing this ship can do is, is get away from these guys. jellies. I've got the ammunition to blow them up but I just I don't want to lose my hull. Right there it is. Triple eight seven. Okay, we've got slightly under half a, is that half a tank or is it slightly under? If you count the reserve as well, probably half. Uh, is it locked on? Oh, it is. Awesomeness. <clears throat> right. Count how many times I die. Should I, would it make a difference if I docked onto a carrier? and then went into the cloud because if I die here I don't want to end up five jumps back would it make a difference? Hmm. I don't think so right? it used to it would just ping you back to your last landing place but it doesn't do that anymore it puts you on these mega ships and stuff so who knows Um, I'm still wondering about the chat. The chat rate at the moment is zilch. Come on guys, talk to me. Two-way convos. I know it's Sunday and everything, but uh, you know. which one they're going to target next and who gets to decide which one's next oops not paying attention hey swanky yeah the pre-engineered FSD I did that a while back and then I realized that the ships I wanted to fit it on already bloody had it what would you like to talk about religion no, just kidding. Um, anything. <clears throat> Something. Tell me about your day. Your favourite colour. <laughs> Ask rusty questions. Ask me anything. What do they call that? Ask... Wh what's it called? I know people used to do those things. Ask. It wasn't called Ask Me Anything, though, was it? I don't remember. Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, it's on the other side of the ring. 
it's on the other side of the ring, so we're going to have to scooch through here. Okay, here's one. <laughs> it's bound to be something that I'm interested in. Oh, hold on. I was going to say uh, in the chat, put in the, cu the current car you're driving and your dream car. I suppose if it's a dream car, it can be like literally anything, right? <clears throat> and then you realise when you wake up and you own that car, you can't afford to run the frickin' thing. I uh, just want to say one thing. If I blow up, I ain't coming back. If, I'm, if I spawn so many jumps away, this is a one-shot deal. I don't know what this is going to do. Yeah, I'm not going to get a Sunday dinner this weekend, unfortunately. I know, the aroma is too much, isn't it? Sooner we get in, the quicker we'll get there. this all the bits well something something's here yep there's all the bits inside the cloud thargoid organic circuitry is that worth picking up Thargoid energy cell. Why do I get the feeling I should need these? Oh, I've got I've got twelve of those already. Okay, I want to pick up stuff I don't have, particularly thargoid drives. Tissue sample protective membrane scrap.
Does this actually do anything? This P wave Xeno scan? I don't think so. Feeling it might just appear. Best type Jag would love a Corvette Stingray from the 70s. Oh, cool. It's cruel you guys talking about Sunday roast when I'm not getting anything. That's that's bad, man. So my current car, I think you guys already know, it's a BMW E46 Club Sport, dream car, probably McLaren P1, or do I get to have more than one dream? Yeah, you see I've got this stuff. Where could it be? Believe it or not, I don't know. <laughs> if you're a Seinfeld fan, you'll know exactly what that what that was. Next, I'll be getting told that there's no more drive components available. Got those, yep. Sound effects are brilliant. So we do get to last a while in here. Tell you the American car that I like. Um, I can remember the name of it. The one with the boat tail. Is it a Buick Riviera? Yeah. about to do it myself. Just trying to make sure we're not going to hit anything. The car I would want to have, if it was like not a hypercar supercar deal, but still fast as friggin' all holy crap, uh, would definitely be the one that I've already been in, which is the uh, BMW M5 competition. That is mental. It's scary quick. Yes, I know that, I know that, I know that. Yeah, 
It's difficult to know where to bloody go. Like where you've been. crystal. Yeah, we got those. I'm guessing they, if and when they do spawn in, they spawn in random places. And maybe they don't spawn in immediately, right? Yeah, front when Frontier says rare, it means get ready to waste your time. Yeah, E-Type is nice. Although I'd, I would definitely have it retrofitted with um, like modern brakes, modern suspension and the whole deal. Maybe try and get airbag fitted and stuff like that. Goids probably thinking better not attack. These are the guys who took down the big fella. something come up here like a sensor fragment or something I'm sure I saw something that had fragment on it says rusty going backwards not knowing where the hell he's going no shields Well, I don't know, guys. The new Mark One Escort was a new one. Wouldn't really be a Mark One though, would it? It would be a kind of replica thing. Yeah, nice though. Oh, and of course, second choice if I can't have a P1. Would be the portion, the portion 992 GT3 RS. Yeah, just because. Well, I don't know where this thing is.
So what we're looking for is actually called the dri uh, drive component, right? If I don't find it by the time the caustic sinks are done, then I'll have to save it for another day, I think. This would be easier in VR, I think. Because I can look, I can look to the left at this screen very quickly. So is it a Mark One Escort? Or, oh, well, it's going to be, isn't it? Mark One Escort with all the the modern trimmings, maybe airbags and cruise control and all that stuff. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Modern suspension, modern brakes. Of, co of course, it has to be that way, surely. How long are they going to keep me waiting? Is Frontier literally just going to spawn one in at a random time event? That wouldn't be good. It should just be here. was Thargoid organic circuitry here. And now I'm going back the other way. It's not there anymore. Looks like there's a very small window in picking these things up. Nice and all that, but a little bit boring when there's nothing here. I don't know if Frontier only spawn a limited amount, and because there's like six million uh, fleet carriers here, that there's no more left. I don't know. Who knows? Hello. Undiscovered component. Let's go and discover it. We will get something for our day.
I have to decelerate two kilometers away to get it to slow down in time. So, unlike Guardian wreckage components, yeah, that's the first time I've seen that one, so there may be hope. I'm trying to follow all the little blibs on the screen until they resolve into something. There's another one. Two kilometers wasn't enough that time. Under oh, not now, wait. Attack me in a minute, I'm busy. Okay, now, now you can attack. Yeah, it it it's a little bit too rare for my, my for my liking. I don't know how useful these other bits are going to be. Oh God, will you get off the screen? Jesus. Yeah, I think we're not going to find one, guys. I don't think so. Ain't that a shame? 
It's boring now. Or, or our frontier timing it so that it only comes and spawns after you run out of sink launchers. Well, nothing. I've tried all the blibs and blobs on the screen. There's a couple more over here. Right, we're leaving guys, that's it. Done. Come on. Taking damage. Oh, that's why I'm repairing it. Detonation limpet successful. Programming limpet drill. Taking damage. Hull integrity compromised. So the decontamination limpet's not really, uh, that's the one I'm firing, primary. I'm not. I'm not doing the repair one, or it shouldn't be. I don't know why it says repair limpet. It's doing both at the same time, even though 
the repair says it's on secondary. It doesn't make any sense. Hull integrity compromised. Programming lipid drill. Decontamination lipid successful. Taking damage. You're not really decontaminating though, are you? You're just pretending. Silent running. Well, that was a bust, guys, unfortunately. Four, three, two, one, yeah, we're a long way from Madrid. It's right here, so I'm just going to try it. See if he's got fuel. Well, that was a waste of time. And this is just for this Thargoid drive component is just for a CG thing, right? I'm hoping you don't have to be joined onto the CG first in order to find one. That would be weird. Wouldn't make a lot of sense, but there you go. Comms established. Hello, Commander. Clearance granted. Directly to your landing pad. Uselessness. Right, so we'll head back and switch accounts. with the fuel. Ouch. Yeah, bit of a shame that. I would like to have picked one up and then just gone to take it where it's supposed to go. That would have been nice. Four, Maybe there's no more left in there already. But one thing you can see is that the, the difference in the volume of the cloud on that Lee Gong one than the than there is on the Tyrannis. 
So it, it is actually dissipating over time then, right? Or is it just one day it, it's it's the, the thickness of Li, Li Gong and the next day it's the thickness of Tyrannis Cloud? I wonder if it does actually dissipate slowly over time. Because that would be very cool if it did that. actually wondering what to do here, whether to switch accounts or just finish here because I don't know. I feel lonely today on this one. It's weird. Maybe the uh, the daylight saving times or whatever it's called, the clock going forward. Is <laughs> Knocked everybody out. Seems I got an hour less sleep than I thought I did. I don't know, I might have another go at it, but if it's time limited then the longer I leave it the less chance I'm going to have of finding one I guess, right? Hey, Nemo 70. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just reading there the original chassis. So they're taking old escorts and then just putting new stuff onto that. I think I've seen. MST that rings a bell. I might have seen that on YouTube. Yeah, I think I might have actually watched the video of that. Stormblinks, hi. No, I didn't. Yeah, didn't find a thing. Tyrannis was a bust completely. Hundred and fifty grand. It's taken the P. They only charge that because they know that people are going to pay it. It's not that it's worth that much, it's just they know people are going to pay it. With that money, I'm, I'm buying, a, I'm buying a, a fast Porsche or a, a, an M5 or something. Yeah. I mean, the escorts are cool and everything, but they're not, for me, they're not 150 grand's worth of cool. I'd rather be sitting in the comfort of an M5 doing 190 miles an hour down the motorway. Not, uh, well, Autobahn. <laughs>
Hey, Meta. Ghostwriter. I haven't penned any novels under a false name. <laughs> That'll be 150k in pounds. So even more in dollars. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to call it there because it's quiet and I'm, I'm going to get on with something else. And uh, I don't know, I might have a drive around or a in sim or I might get some sniper ghost warrior going. All right, we'll bring uh, Commander Hardy back a different time. And uh, yeah. That's going to be it for today. So we've had a double stream. Not too bad. I gave the Tyrannus a go. Nothing there. Unfortunately, not my fault. It's just the way Frontier have it. So, guys, thanks for being here. And I will catch you on the next one. Goodbye.